So if I were to swipe up and let's go to Opera so we can show what happens with Opera. So uh, this is a mini browser. You notice it, it launches pretty quick. Um, this browser was not preloaded. It wasn't started previously, but you can see um, how quickly it comes up. If I were to uh, Let's say you can t enter the address at the top, or you can do a Google search. And you notice how the Google uh, search window opened on top. And what I can do is type in a website that I like to go to. I type that in. Uh, kitchen, enough.net. Alrighty, and then we'll see what comes up. So right now, again, it is using the connectivity from my phone through Bluetooth uh, to search. So it's not going to be as fast as it was working independently, and it's definitely not going to be um, as fast as as your phone. But right now, if I got the uh, URL right, you know, I'd get to um, the website that I'm looking for. So here is, um, I did a Google search for Nola's Kitchen. I'm going to select the website itself. And then it should not take us to the website, and we should see if it formats the page correctly. The You, do, you could have bookmarks. You could have, um, so here's, here's the actual website. Um, you know, you do have the ability to zoom in, and you have the ability to zoom out. Um, it's probably not as fast as I'd like it to be, but... You know, it's you are browsing from your from your wrist, and it's not a super duper powered um, you know browsing experience. But here you have um, you know it's it's usable. You can you can see what's going on on the page. I still again it's it's slower because it still has to refresh the content of the page um, as as you're as you're getting all your content via uh, the actual Bluetooth selection. Um, you can go back by hitting the back button, back, and it takes you to uh, your speed dial area. So I'd really recommend if you're going to have, are going to use the Opera mini browser, I would create, uh, you know, these little speed dials so that you can move around easier. Um, it's typable, definitely not fast typing. Um, I haven't done, you know, my two finger typing like this because it's pretty cramped. But the browser is usable and you can access things like Gmail and you can access some of the other um, applications or, you know, things that are found on the web. Uh, so uh, that is kind of just a mini review of the Opera Mini browser. As you can tell here in the bottom before we end this video, you could have multiple tabs open. So uh, for something that's running on such a small device, it's a pretty convenient browser.